Hey guys, Steve here from PC Budget Solutions and I am back. I should be doing some videos here soon. A couple unboxing, a couple overview, and probably, hint, a build log. And here's the reason why. So the system that's over here, you can't see. It's the Ryzen 7 system that I do all my stuff on. Spent a lot of money on the system, the monitors, everything. I realized that since I'm scaling everything back a bit, I could probably make back about $1,000 and go with something a little bit lower end. I tried this before but couldn't sell it. So parting out actually seems like a good idea. So the new system is going to be probably between like twelve and fifteen hundred. I've already ordered some parts, including what's in my hand today. I'm very excited to present this to you guys. But and if you love the title, you know what it is too. But you can definitely expect a couple videos here very soon. But first on the chopping block is a Sapphire RX 580 Nitro 8 gig. Picked up for $279.99. A little bit of MSRP. Uh, they were MSRP in like $230, so not much more. But it has the color scheme, the power, and everything that I'm looking for. So we're going to do a quick eh, little unboxing review, talk about it real quick. And then stay tuned. I have more videos and a build bomb coming up. Stay tuned. So here we have it. This is the Nitro Edition. I'm really excited to work with this. Um, my RX Vega is actually a Nitro as well. Now, hint, hint, I'm not going to show you guys, but over in here you can see a box. That's coming up next. Not in this video. Stay tuned next video. I'm expecting in like two or three days. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. These usually aren't super exciting. You know, you have your driver disc. Go download from Andy's website. You have contact information for Sapphire in Hong Kong. Not that useful. You have a quick installation guide, also not that useful. And here it is. Ooh, this looks nice. So, this is what the back plate looks like. I definitely want to get one with the back plate, so I was really excited about that. I wanted something that was black, has an LED, hopefully I can change this color, but I'm having a theme build going on, so I'm definitely really excited about that. Output wise, we should have one, two HDMI ports, two display port connectors, you can hear a puppy in the background, and my DVI-D. And this card's not super long, so like by comparison to my Vega, my Vega is probably about, you know, roughly out to here or so, this should definitely be quieter, cold better, everything like that. So real quick, we're gonna go ahead and slap this on the test bench, and we're gonna take a look at, we're gonna mess with it. Let's play with it a little bit. So, first of all, ignore the world mess. I don't have a case, so that's why I'm working on motherboard box. There's clips right here, you can see, on the PCI Express connector. So I'm going to go around the back, undo those, pull this up, and then remove my clips respectively. Oh, okay, set this aside. Oh, just for scale, it's actually almost the exact same length amazing how much longer or heavier the Vega is. So, put that aside. Now, a couple things, if you ever work with a test bench or if you're ever putting it on a motherboard box, a couple things. Make sure these retention clips clear and can hang off or else <laughs> you're going to bend something. In this case, just put it in and then this uses a 6 plus 2 and a 6 and I actually have those exact connectors so we're going to go ahead and do that for you real quick on camera and then just be careful if you are doing this on like a open test bench you just don't push down too hard because you can rock it a little bit since it's not bolting in. Now this will be going into a case I've worked with this case before I actually didn't like the case originally but from what I'm doing, it'll work fine. And then for those of you who don't know, without a case, you can take anything and short out the power connector and turn it on. So we are on. We're gonna go ahead and adjust and we're gonna have fun with this here. So after downloading the Trix software, which I've used in the past before, I was really concerned I wouldn't be able to change the color of the LED. But, as I'm going to show you guys here, let me 
change it, you should see the LED changing colors. That's very important because I'm going to leave it at this color. It's like a purplish color. It really it doesn't really show up on the too well, but it is actually a purple color. Um, it's going to be a hint of um, what my build's going to be about. So I can actually change the brightness, which is really cool. I may actually do a darker color, but yeah, or I can just turn off altogether. But yeah, it's really cool that they allow me to do that. Um, everything's pretty much done. Maybe I'll do a quick benchmark on see what you guys think about it, and then we'll wrap this up. So here we are. Not too bad. 4,432. Graphical test 1 and 2 finished at 29.9 FPS versus 24.68 FPS. This is 3D Mark Time Spy. And use a standard um, testing. I did a custom because I knocked off one of the uh, benchmarks. That would be the CPU score. But here's kind of the whole graph here. I'll zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. Here's kind of the whole graph between the two tests. You know, it boosts it all the way up to, what was it, 20 or 1400, I believe? Yes. So we got about 1400 megahertz on the core, 1450 to be exact. But, yes, new card, fun times. Usually I do a little bit of a longer outro, but I got two minutes left on the battery. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this quick unboxing, overview, install, just fun video of the RX 580. Like to be if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. That's cool. Let's talk in the description comment section below. In the description is going to be where to buy this. But in the comment section, let's talk about my comeback. Not really my comeback. But anyway, as always, guys, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions. I'll see you later on down the road.